All right. Uh, good morning still. Um, so update injury wise, and I think you guys may have heard this. Um, so Dawson Knox uh, and most everyone, everyone will practice in some capacity. Dawson, uh, we'll see how he does today. Uh, he's had a good week, I could tell you. Um, so if he continues to progress, there's a good chance he'll play. Uh, Kair Elam um, most likely will not be activated. Um, and then Vaughn, I'm sure you guys, uh, Vaughn is looking like he's ready to go from a football standpoint. Um, and that's where we're at. Yeah, no, I think he's, I, th I feel like he's answered a lot of that, like with pads on yesterday and with no pads uh, with the catching on Wednesday. Um, I think he's answered a lot of that. It's just more, let's just take, continue to take it one step at a time and, and see how he handles today and how he feels afterwards too. That, that feedback's important. Yeah, Joe, I mean, it's, um, you know, we were just obviously on the radio there talking about the blend really of Dalton and Dawson. And uh, Dalton has certainly shown us what he's capable of and uh, taking advantage of the opportunity that he's, that he's gotten. Um, and so um, blending the two together, both are good football players, both a little bit different one from the other. And um, I think that blend is important um, Dawson's obviously um, um, good at the point of attack, strong veteran player, and, uh, and does a good job in the pass game in his own right as well, which, which I know Dalton does too. So, um, you know, blending those two in the right capacity, proportions, however you want to say it, is, is important for us. Yeah, Tim, I think it's, um, you know, we knew we knew some about Dalton then, and now it's we know more about Dalton. And that's kind of just the evolution of a rookie, the journey of a, of a rookie season. Um, and so now it's how do, you, how, how, do you, how do you coexist in the right proportions to make sure we're as productive as we can be and maybe beyond what we've been over the last two weeks. Um, and so that's, that's, a, that's a balance, and that's, I'm not going to sit here and say that that's easy, right? It's a good, good problem to have, and, and it's up to us as coaches and um, in, in figuring that out, right? And, and, and that may take a little bit of time. And I think the other kind of challenge, if you want to call it a challenge, is you know Dawson's conditioning. He's been out to your point six weeks, so anytime you're back for your first game, it's hey, um, how can you make the game slow down, and how can you allow the game to come to you a little bit? Yeah, and that's that's some of the blend, right? Is it's uh, you know, who do you want to be? Who do you who? What proportion of what personnel groups do you want out there? Um, so some of that's game plan driven as well, based on on based on the opponent week to week. So um, again, somewhat of a good problem to have. Uh, but the thing I love about all three of those guys that you mentioned is they're selfless in their approach. So um, they've been that way since since they've arrived. Yeah, um, you know, I thought it went as good as <clears throat> one could expect, as I could expect, and it was important for me, Catherine, to address the players that uh, are new to us since 2019 and, and uh, may not have been around um, that day, and so that they understood um, that situation and how it unfolded and, and that based on who I am and what they've seen, my hope and, and how I try and do things um, and how I handled that situation, so it went well. Um, their support was clear and um, much appreciated. <clears throat> that was that was part of the reason, a big part of the reason why I did it, because having everyone on the same page. And um, if I was a new player, based on you know how I've seen Sean, I would expect them to think that that it doesn't 
that's maybe you know doesn't fit what I've seen. And so, again, just clear communication, accountability, and just you know trying to make sure everyone's on the same page. Yeah, I don't. Um, I know who I am. I know how I try and do things. Am I, am I without flaw? No, I'm not without flaw. And um, I say that humbly. Um, I believe we try and do things right here. Um, it doesn't mean that everything we do is, is, is right. People are going to have their own opinions. Um, I believe we've, we've won a lot of games here um, since we've arrived, and, and I'm confident in that. I'm confident in this football team. And um, people are going to have their opinions. Um, I can't control that. Yeah, I mean, just uh, more follow up really from them to me um, in terms of support, in terms of text messages, guys um, seeking me out to um, say, coach. I mean, even players that are no longer here um, that have mentioned. Um, you know, other people, even staff, some in this room, some not in this room that um, know who I am, know how I try and do things. Um, you know, it was clearly attack on, to me an attack on my character, and, and that's important to me, very important. Uh, as much, if not more, um, very clearly more than wins and losses. Wins and losses are important. Um, but what's more important to me um, from day one is, is how you handle yourself. And Again, doesn't mean that I've uh, been perfect. No one's perfect. Um, doesn't mean that I haven't been without flaw. Um, but to me, it's most important that uh, for myself and my family and my kids that I handle this job the right way. Well, I think, Joe, in any, in any of our lives, if this came up for any of us, something like this, um, it, it's, it, it definitely um, gets your mind spinning, right? Um, just being real. And um, it's been disappointing. It's been um, hurtful, right? Um, at the end of the day, I know who I am. At the end of the day, I know how I handle myself. As I've said humbly, I'm, I'm, I'm not without flaws, right? Um, I wake up every morning and try and do the best job that I can to win games for the fans of the Buffalo Bills and do it the right way. And that's my main goal every day. Yeah, I mean, absolutely, Tim. You, <clears throat> you know, you, we all go through adversity, right? There's lessons in this. Um, for me, there's lessons in this for my children, my older two in particular, who can understand a little bit more. Um, when you get text messages, when you get people going out of their way personally to come and see you, and when you get notes on your desk in the morning, messages from players who are no longer here that play currently with other teams, I'm not tampering. It's 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 support and it's love and it it's af it's affirming, right? That you are um, because that's important, right? To feel like you're trying to do things a certain way, and you want that to be f to be um, viewed that way on the other end, right? Saying, hey, this is a guy that. Um, you know, I, I think he's a good coach, and and beyond that, he's a he's a he tries to do things the right way. I think that's that's just very important to me. It's important to who I, how I was raised, um, and the focus right now is about 
um, needs to be about moving forward and, and getting myself focused on this game and the challenge of the, of the Kansas City Chiefs. And um, I owe that to the team, and, and, um, and I'm super proud of them in terms of how they've handled really the last two weeks or, or week when some of these things have come up, right? So um, they are steadfast in, in their approach, uh, in particular this week and, and um, the way that they practice. Yeah, no, it's not. I mean, this is what this is what I get paid to do in terms of it's 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 what I get paid to do and it's what I owe to the team. It's what I owe to the fans of the Buffalo Bills. And as I've alluded before and earlier here, it's I don't take that responsibility lightly. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, probably take an hour to talk about them, Catherine. I mean, just starting with, um, you know, you make every day count. You know, you take the joy that you have when you get the job and and it can ebb and flow through through experiences, through through trials and tribulations, and you and you don't want to lose that, right? You don't want to lose it. But it gets tested. Um, as a person of faith, I think that's important, I'm, I'm going to say it, is that I know who I walk with or I try and walk with daily. Um, again, not that I'm, not that I'm without flaws. Um, so. And Matt, I, I 100% understand, I, I get it, I understand, this is not an easy situation. Um, and I, I, you know, it's the hardest part for, for us is I'm a football coach, I'm not an investigator, and I only ha we only have so much information at this point. So we're doing the best job we can with what we have or don't have, mostly in this case. Um, we, I can promise those out there that we have looked into every last thing. We jumped on a call Sunday night again, and I said, let's everyone get together and say, what do we know, what do we know, what do we know? And, um, and there were multiple people on that call that represent different parts of our organization who have expertise in these areas, and this is where we're at. I wish I had a better answer for those people. I can promise you, um, we're always going to try and do the best thing, number one, for doing what's right um, beyond the football field. Um, in this case, this is where we're at. And I think for me and for them, it's um, we have to continue to take it one day at a time and see what more comes um, forward, if you will. Yeah, it, it hasn't been. Um, you know, initially, obviously, there was a information, but it, there was a lot of things, I don't know, you know, just just things out there. I, I don't know if I can call that information because is it fact, is it not? I, I don't know, right? So there was a lot of things coming out, I guess I should say, early. Recently, that's been rather quiet in terms of um, information from the sources we need the information from, and that's really what we're at this point um, waiting on, um, so we know more going forward. Yes, I do. Um, you know, I, I do. I feel strongly that um, the looks in their eyes yesterday, the looks in their eyes when they came back here, you know, they were back Monday. I didn't really have, we didn't have a team meeting. They conditioned Monday, but we didn't have a team meeting until Wednesday. Excuse me. They seem like they are 
um, strong and, and, and focused on the Kansas City Chiefs and, um, and the leadership of our team, um, led by guys like Micah Hyde, uh, were very evident this week and, and uh, much appreciated. I know Scott, you got a little bit. Yeah, I mean, Arrowhead, I'll start there. Um, I would equate it similar to, to, to our stadium and our fans. They're passionate. It's a, it's a tough environment, um, just like people probably, I know I view our, our situation here with our fans and our stadium. Um, that's one. And then two is, um, yeah, they're a different team, right? Um, we're a different team year to year as well. That's naturally the, the situation. Um, Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, I think you start there, and, and really that's all you need to say. Uh, I think Andy, Andy is so creative in how he um, spreads the ball around to your point. He gets uh, uh, Kelsey involved, Mahomes is, Patrick is um, elite at what he does, and um, even the, in the games he's been behind, um, he, he brings them back. And so, um, you know, he is, he's, uh, well decorated for all those reasons, uh, um, just to name a few. And, and so, um, you know, tough team. And then their defense is playing extremely well. And their kicker is, as uh, as we've seen, has hit long field goals over the years. I think 60 some already this year, 60 some yard field goals. So, um, you know, you've got to be aware of that also. All right, thank you guys.